Hello everyone, this is Emin Desuri and here's the second route for the G2 drive test at the Orangeville location. So after parking here, you know, you want to go out the same way from behind the drive test center and uh, you make a left turn here just like the way you made it in the in the in the first video that I'd shown and uh, and you keep 40 to 45 kilometers per hour on uh, this road on 4th Avenue and when you come across this stop sign again it's an always stop sign so know when to take your turn and after the stop sign you're going to make a right turn here on 3rd Street. So on 3rd Street uh, you know after driving for a few few meters you're going to see the sign that says 40 kilometers per hour so you're going to be driving at 40 here. So keep driving straight until you hit the lights and when you approach the lights, you'll be asked to go into the left lane here to make a left at these lights, which is for 5th Avenue. So you make a left here. Now, to make the left turn, you want to know how far forward you want to go. So here, you know, you want to see how many lanes there are. There are. So here, there's only one lane. So you have to go around this yellow line. So you go around this yellow line and you keep driving straight. There's no speed sign posted here. So you assume 50 kilometers per hour. And then you're going to be asked to make a left turn here on 2nd Street. Make sure you yield to the oncoming traffic before you make a left turn. So make a safe left turn here. And again, no speed sign posted here. You can drive at 50, but I would recommend to keep it between 45 and 50. So you are going to be driving for some time on the second street. So you don't, you, you shouldn't have to worry about anything except for maintaining your speed. So make sure you look at the speedometer every now and then. And then you're going to be making a right turn on third Avenue. So it's strange and you know, um, at some intersections they would say all way and, and at some intersections they won't say always so it's it's really weird about Orangeville you know that's what my observation was when I used to take my students here here on 3rd Avenue you, you're gonna see some cars you know they could ask you to do a parallel parking followed by uphill parking downhill parking and then a three-point turn so so you do all of that and you go back and again you make a left here on 2nd Street. Again, no speed sign here, so um, drive anywhere between 45 and 50. I love the fall colors. Uh, the, the trees look beautiful. So again, you're going to be driving for some time before you make a right turn on 4th Avenue, which is the stop sign. So you make a right turn here, again, always stop sign. And after the right turn on 4th Avenue, the first stop sign you come across, you're going to make a right turn here on 3rd Street. And right after the right turn, you're going to have to make a left turn at this always stop sign. So you make a left turn on 4th Avenue and you go back to the drive test center. So here we are back to the drive test center and then you go um, into the plaza from here and, and you come through here and you park anywhere here or here, wherever they find an empty space. So most of the times they ask you to do a forward parking that's uh, in the case you know they are able to find a car for parallel parking but if you haven't done parallel parking then you know expect to do uh, a reverse parking here so that's that about the the second route for orangeville i hope you liked this vid video and if you did then smash the like button for me thank you very much for watching i'll see you again with another video and if you think the route has changed then make sure you leave a comment below so that i can make another video with the updated route thank you again thanks for watching and i'll see you again